When I was a teenager and starting to listen to music and not only the pieces I was playing at the piano, uh, Brahms was immediately my favorite. When I started to discover his choral music, his symphonic music, his chamber music, it's hard to explain why, but it's always been my favorite composer. And I think it's because uh, he is the perfect balance of great uh, form, attention to structure, and also the content, the, the emotion, which is so extraordinary and uh, always very uh, passionate. And that's why I think I still love him as my favorite composer. As a musician, I like always to see the work of the composer as a big whole, a big entity, and that you cannot separate one from the other. Brahms, maybe he reveals himself the most in chamber music. At the same time, he wrote so much for voice. He wrote a lot of lieder, like Schubert, for example. And his symphonic music is a combination of all of these elements. There's a very simple thing about symphonies by Brahms. Beethoven composed nine symphonies and arguably they are the most famous. And we love Beethoven because he is the winner. He feels that the human being struggles, but always is victorious of the struggle. Brahms is not always victorious. Brahms is more realistic more human, and because of this, more touching. Because sometimes, like the end of the first symphony, he is victorious. But sometimes, like the second movement of his second symphony, he is just not powerful over his de own destiny. And this is the, the, the very, very intimate aspect that even if it's a big symphony and you have great chords and great brass and uh, grand feelings like in Beethoven, you have also these intimate moments where he allows himself to be a little bit weak. And I think this is closer to every one of us. 